Well, hello and welcome. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can improve your stream audio massively in just a few clicks. And it's just a standard tool within OBS. But I've got it chained up so that obviously Spotify dips. But then I also have it so that desktop audio prioritizes over Spotify. So that if you are playing a game or you have your like sound alerts, that it will also dip Spotify that way as well. But then I have it so that desktop audio will dip against the mic. It's like a weird triangle of dipping or ducking. <laughs> it's fun. This is audio ducking. So let's get to it. So what is audio ducking exactly? Audio ducking is actually a tool that's actually a little bit hidden away within OBS, within the compressor, but it allows you to automatically reduce the levels of one audio source to prioritize another. So for example, if I have my Spotify music playing and we're having a bit of a jam, when I'm speaking, I want you to still be able to hear me. So I can set this so that my Spotify music will automatically dip just a little bit, a little bit quieter while ever I'm speaking. But then when I stop speaking, the music will lift up again and we can party. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do this in OBS, but I believe this will work in pretty much any streaming software as long as there is a compressor or a ducking feature. So let's jump into OBS and take a look. So we're in OBS, I've got my headphones on, we are ready to go. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is decide where do you want to apply this audio ducking effect. Now this is going to depend on how you have your audio set up. So this is going to probably be unique to everybody. But for me, I use virtual audio cables, so I'm able to split out things like my Spotify onto its own track. If you don't do that, you're probably just going to want to apply this to your desktop audio, because that's where you're going to have things like your game audio, your Spotify, any kind of sound that you have playing. So that's not a bad thing. I actually have this set up on both my Spotify and my desktop audio because that for me is where my game sound comes through. You then need to decide what do you want to be the prominent audio source throughout your stream and typically that's going to be your microphone. But depending on what you're streaming, this can be totally flipped around. So it could be that you actually have Spotify ducking against game noise that's coming from your desktop. So you can use this on loads of different things. Think about if you have any plugins that are working on your stream. So maybe text to speak, any of those kind of things. If you don't want them completely cutting you off, if they're naturally quite loud, you can apply this audio ducking to them as well. And that will automatically drop them down if you just so happen to be speaking at the time. If you're not familiar with OBS, I've already done a tutorial on how to get started. So do check that video out. I've also done a few videos recently on various audio tips. So if you're struggling with your audio, also be sure to have a look at the other videos on the channel at the moment. But within here, you should be able to find your audio mixer. And what we need to do once we've identified which one of these items we're going to apply the ducking to is to simply come over to the little cog at the bottom left there. Now, when we click in here, we get this menu and we want to choose the option filters. Now in here, you can see I actually have one already set up, but I've turned it off. For this video and let's set up a brand new one in here. So we need to come to this item which is compressor which is why I think a lot of people actually don't know that this exists because it's not particularly obvious it doesn't say ducking it's a kind of a, a tool within the compressor so we'll click this one and what I'd suggest you do is name it audio ducking in this case because I already have that I'm going to leave it as compressor just so we know the difference between the two. Now then you do get a few options here which I'm gonna do my very best to explain what each of them means. So the ratio at the top by default is set to 10 to one. So what that means is the amount of compression or when we turn on ducking that is gonna be applied is equal to 10 times that of the original. So 10 to one is actually a little bit aggressive and we probably want to take that down. A good kind of ratio that I found for me personally, certainly if I am talking over music is kind of like around five. So I'm gonna leave it at 5.5 there. Now the threshold is going to be at what point 
does the ducking start kicking in? This again is going to take a little bit of tweaking. You're going to need to understand where your voice levels sit and you can do that. If I just move this out of the way over here for a second, you can actually see all of the decibels down here against my microphone. So I can see that when I'm just talking, typically my voice sits kind of between negative 25 and negative 15 decibels. So typically what you want to do is look at this and pick somewhere that's going to be just below when you start speaking. So a good level for me for the threshold would probably be somewhere between 35 and 30 or negative 35 and a negative 30 because I want to make sure that if I am talking a little bit quieter or I'm slightly away from the microphone and it's a little bit lower down that it does kind of kick in straight away so that my, the beginning of my audio isn't getting clipped off and so I'm going to take this threshold all the way down and you know what we'll pop it at sort of negative 35 or thereabouts that should work out great remember we can always change this and listen to it later and, and tweak it to get it just right now the attack is going to be how quickly does the ducking come in so how quickly is our spotify music going to get turned down milliseconds here that's that is six milliseconds that is absolutely nothing a thousand milliseconds is one second so we probably need that to be a little less aggressive but not too much i would kind of like it to be maybe around 60. i found that 60 works pretty well you'll want to kind of play with that as well but it doesn't seem too jarring but it doesn't take too long to come in either now the release is kind of the opposite end how long do we want it to be as it kind of fades away and how it drops back so if we left it at 60 the drop off is going to be really quite sudden which again could be a little bit jarring so i find typically when you're finishing a sentence you tend to tail off your words a little bit so you do want to make the release a little bit softer again if your music is kind of really loud and and that kind of thing and you don't want it to tail off keep this low but if you're using this over the top of i guess gameplay or a more kind of chill vibe i would actually say take that something all the way up to maybe between 500 or 600. i'm gonna pop it at 600 for this example now output gain will actually increase or decrease the volume of the source that we're applying this to on its base level so this doesn't actually come into anything that we're doing with the kind of audio ducking so if you did need to boost or drop your spotify audio in this case that's where you could do it within here but to be honest you kind of want to get your levels right within say spotify and your system settings before coming into here to do that and the final Final setting on here is the most important one, hidden away all the way down at the bottom. We have our side chain or ducking source. Now at the moment it's set to none, but what you need to do is come into here and it will have all of your sources, which is wonderful. And I mean, it really is wonderful. That means that you can actually set this against anything that is going to make a, any kind of noise on your stream but in this example we're setting this against our microphone so i need to hunt <laughs> in here to find my microphone so once you've chosen your microphone that is pretty much it now i'm just going to make this a little bit smaller here and move it over to the top because what i'm going to do now is i'm going to record within here so we can hear the effects of all of these different things and we'll tweak a couple of them just so you can hear the difference so hopefully that will make sense and then you can apply this to work out what are going to be the best settings for your voice your audio and all of that kind of stuff so to test this we're going to start playing some music courtesy of the lovely mr harris heller thank you very much man let's have a look at this top box then so let's change some of these settings now that we can hear it taking effect now pay attention to the audio mixer. You can see my levels bobbing up and down here where I'm speaking, but look at the Spotify. As I'm talking, the levels are staying low down towards that 35 where I set the threshold. When I stop talking, it jumps up and it creeps up kind of slowly. So let's change that. Let's drop that threshold so that it's I guess lower we say lower it's actually kind of higher because we're going this way now do you see that that's too high it's not making the biggest difference so that's no good now i'm sending it the other way i've actually dropped it down to 40 and you might find that that's a little bit too aggressive so i'm quite happy with this sitting at around 35 for my levels so i'm just going to put that one back 
Now the attack, we can change. Remember, it's currently at 60. If we drop it way down, that's going to make it, again, quite an aggressive start to dropping that down. If we push that all the way up, it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to kind of ease in a bit more. Um, again, I kind of like it to kick in pretty quick. So I'm going to leave that at 60. So the release, we're going to take that down a little bit. So you can see that now when we look on here, and you can hear it, it ramps back up really quickly. So I'm going to put that back to 600. For me, this sounds pretty good. I like this. I think this is a good mix. But you'll have to kind of work through this yourself and see what is the right fit for what you're doing on stream, whether it's gaming or playing music, a bit of marbles on in the front. But the best way to test it is actually to use this recording option within your OBS. That's what I'm doing right now. So when you're setting this up, just hit record and then play it back. Have a listen, see which you like. So if you're ever receiving comments on your stream that people can't hear you, maybe when your alerts are going off or your music's too loud or all those kind of things, or just even with that song we were listening to, there were parts of it that got a bit louder. This will always ensure that whenever you're speaking, everyone's going to be able to hear your lovely voice. And that's the most important thing. So that is it for today. Hopefully this was another useful one. Honestly, I think this is one of the most underused filters that is available in OBS. I honestly don't think many people know about it, but since applying this, it has made a massive difference to the audio quality on my stream and I hope that that happens for you too. So if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and do all of those things that I love 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 like comment subscribe you know what to do and I will see you in the next one.